Yes, it would be a nasty shock, wouldn't it? It went down there, grabbed the keys, and in your hand, you've got a little deadly pest to play with. Warning, this video contains graphic footage of deadly spiders in a spider-infested house. I'll also be investigating this comment here, which tells me WD-40 kills Black Widow spiders instantly, but can it kill Redback spiders instantly? I just had this spider nest underneath this little solar panel, and um, I've just been trying WD-40 as a bit of a test to see if it kills spiders, and look what came running out from underneath that solar. Okay, that is a female Redback, but it's just in the stages of maturing. And it's having a lot of trouble uh, after being sprayed with WD-40. I also noticed that it might be a male redback spider there or a maturing female. But I am curious whether the WD-40 is going to take her out. She's only small but she's going to turn into a nasty little critter. And that's a curious one because she's right at the stage where she's just starting to display her red back. Uh, from growing up from being a spiderling and we'll call her an adolescent redback spider She's not really keeling over as fast as I thought she would Give her a bit more spray there See how that sorts her out Yeah, well now she's swimming in WD-40 and she certainly doesn't like it in fact, that might be the good night sister shot. She's drinking it up there. I don't think she's round for much longer. I'm actually working out my infestation problem is massive. Uh, these redback spiders are everywhere and there is a skin of her as she was growing. She's deployed her skin there. Uh, hopefully the WD-40 will get rid of these spiders. Yeah, she's reeling in WD-40 pain there. Maybe I should put her out of her misery. I hate to see her suffering, wouldn't you? If I just squish her on the back there, it'll be definitely good night sister. Mrs. Redback Spider. Now the one thing about WD-40 is I'm pretty sure it makes it quite an uncomfortable area for spiders. But as for something that delivers a lethal uh, dose very fast, well I've got to do some more experimentation. Okay, I have to be quick here. We've had power, blackouts and whatnot. This is the control box up the front of our house that controls the gate. This is an area that I had sprayed with chemicals, a lot of chemicals inside this box here and underneath to get rid of a redback spider which was flushed out of water but guess what's come back look very carefully near the keys there yes that's a small female uh, I dare say give it a bit of time it's gonna be a large female whether there are other redbacks under there well I'm gonna to have to investigate this at another time and when they're that size they're actually pretty hard to see what would happen if I went in there with the, you know put the key back in again to unlock the gate uh, who's going to end up better off, me or that redback spider? And it's one thing to come in and get rid of that spider again, but I've got to work out a way to stop the spiders from enjoying living under this box here. Maybe to rekindle your memory, I'll show you some footage of how I pumped this box full of chemical here. Lots and lots of insect spray, but it gave me a couple of months respite, I dare say. But hey, guess what? The redback spiders have come back and it's as if nothing was ever done to this box. Why aren't I surprised? All I could say is uh, welcome to my nightmare and this episode will be continued. I do have a way of enticing these spiders out. I am very curious of how many others are lurking underneath there. So sure, they're small female redback spiders and you're probably thinking, oh Leo, it's just a small spider. But give it a couple more months. If winter goes through and those spiders are still alive, by the time spring happens, they're going to be large breeders and the cycle just keeps repeating. And that's why I've got to try and come in and make some very uncomfortable areas for where these spiders have comfort. The control box there is a bit of a tricky one because it's got power going to it and there's some delicate electronics inside as well. I think, I think I know how to do off that box and it might be a combination of two things, or should do like that, to make the spiders uncomfortable there. Hmm, it is a very, very tricky situation.